Hello there. Let's go over your agency accounts and how to set them up. Why wear my stupid hat? So as a tier five partner, you have several different agency accounts. What that means is essentially um, the same type of accounts that you have to all the tier five software, you can essentially add users. It's the same as if they come to us and buy the software, except for they don't have to come to us and buy the software, they can get it directly from you. So you can set up your own share funnels, you can set up your own funnels to sell the software, you can put whatever price that you want on the software, and whenever somebody buys them, you just simply provision one of your agency accounts. Now there's two ways to do that. One is the manual way, and one is the automated way through our API. We're gonna go over both of them, and in this video, we're just gonna go ahead and go over the manual way. So to set up your agency accounts manually, you'll just need to go ahead and log into the affiliate dashboard, all right? So I'm already logged in, and you'll just need to go to this manage account section. If you don't have access to this manage account section, you just need to go ahead and send a message to tier five support, and we'll go ahead and get everything, everything taken care of for you, okay? So you can easily go in and just add an agency account to all seven of our softwares by clicking this button right here that says, click here to create a user by all products, and then just go in and add an email address, uh, new email at, test.com we'll just add this one and then click submit and this will go ahead and create that user as you can see right here and all the different software accounts you'll be able to see that that user was actually created okay so that will add them to all the products and you just need to note that we don't actually send out any emails or communications once you add a user into our platform okay so you'll need to actually manage letting the user know that you've just actually set up their account um, and how to log in. Their login is going to be their email ID and their password is going to be default one, two, three, four, five, six that they can change inside any of the platforms anytime they want. So again, just clicking this button right here, this will add a user to all the different softwares. And if you want to add them to an individual software, you're just going to click on the individual software. You'll click on the button, add one user, and then you'll just add another user, test2 at test.com. You'll just add that user, okay? Now that user's actually been added, and now if you actually were to go, we added him to Invoicing You. If you were to actually go to Invoicing You and try to log in, you'll see that he'll have access, and he will actually be able to log into the dashboard now. If you want to suspend that user because they didn't make their payment, then you can go in and actually just suspend that user. Now that user is actually suspended. So if we reload the page here, um, actually let's go ahead and sign out. And we'll try to sign in. You'll notice that he can't actually log in. So if he decides to pay and you want to activate him again, just click on that button again. And now he'll actually be able to sign back into the software. Okay. And if you need to delete the user, then you can just go ahead and click the delete user button, okay? So that will actually delete the users from the platform. So now you know how to actually add everybody in manually. If you need to add anybody in manually, you can go in and actually add people in manually. And then you can go and delete them. If you need to delete them, you can go in and suspend them or unsuspend them. So. I can see that this person is, is, is active. If I wanna suspend, I just click that button. Note that you can't delete somebody if they're suspended, so you just need to activate them first, and then you can go and delete them. So I'm gonna go in and delete all the users that I actually added in, because I don't need those users actually added into the platform. And that's how you can manage all your, your agency accounts. That's how you can manage them. Uh, that, that's how you can actually manage them manually. You can see how many suspended accounts you have, how many active accounts, and you can see the balance that you have left inside your accounts, how many extra agency accounts you have left until you run out of your agency accounts. So it's pretty much that simple. That's how you do it manually. And the next short, in the next short video, uh, in the next short video, you're going to learn how to use our API and create these users automatically. But that will be in the next video.